Our next guest is a commercial pilot who says that the system is under stress. We want to bring in Captain Dennis Tazier, who's an American Airlines pilot with over 30 years of flight experience. He's also the spokesman for the Allied Pilots Association, which is a union representing 15,000 professional pilots. Dennis, thank you for being here. Um, we've been watching with growing concern about the number of these instances. Is this really a much larger number of incidents than we've seen in the past? I've been doing this for over 30 years. I've never seen the system under so much pressure. Right now, what's going on is a result of trying to do too much with too little. Uh, we have disparate rules for uh, rest for pilots. Uh, for instance, I'm sure many of your viewers utilize NetJets. NetJets uh, flies under totally different rules than I do at American Airlines. And there's a proposal, a consensus proposal, that the FAA has been sitting on since 2020. And we go down the line. Phil LeBeau did a great job yesterday covering the issues. We've seen a mass amount of pilots retire uh, post-pandemic, incentivized early outs. And now we have a wave of new pilots coming in, experienced but not experienced at the high-intensity operations that we have at many of the operations uh, you see going on. Add to that, the uh, training pipeline is jammed up, so they're reducing the amount of training uh, for pilots, and they continue to pressurize this system. And we brought this to the attention of the FAA, and they gave us a response that is actually a, a, a toxic response on a flight deck. Well, it's legal. And our response is just because it's legal does not mean it's safe or smart. Fortunately, the FAA has called this safety summit. In the military, we called it a safety stand down. But there are too many close calls, and we've been calling this out for more than a year, and it's time to sit down and not just talk about it, but get things done. Dennis, do, do passengers actually need to be concerned about flying at this point? Because the, the headlines that I've seen lately do concern me. And if, if you're anybody who's, who's been on a plane recently, you know it's not a pleasant experience. Well, uh, we want it to be a pleasant experience, but above all, it's got to be a safe experience. And our passengers can exhale because having two trained and experienced pilots on the flight deck who are fully rested is going to make the difference between these incidents becoming serious accidents. For instance, Phil referenced this in Austin, the FedEx aircraft that went around as a, another aircraft was on the runway. Those pilots actually have a carve-out for their rules of safety and rest. This is insane. They're in the same airspace. Thankfully, those pilots, two pilots, and I have an idea what was going on in the flight deck. I know what was going on in my flight deck when I saw that closeness of two airplanes in very low weather. You're talking about the go-around and making sure these two airplanes don't collide. That takes two pilots. It takes swift judgment, training, and experience. And right now, you know, there's record revenue. With that comes record responsibility to ensure that you're operating safely. And okay. right now, we're, let, the let FAA... Me just, let me just ask. You said we should feel safe because there are experienced pilots doing this. At the same time, you're saying that the amount of training they're getting may be legal, but it's not safe. So should I feel safe in the airs? Yes, you should. We are out here now pushing back on that pressure on the margin of safety. We've implored the FAA to take a look at this, not just make a binary decision while well, it's legal. Think about that. If the conditions on the road are such that you should not be driving the speed limit, you should not rest and say, well, I was driving the speed limit, we're all safe. You've got to adjust your operation and the way you look at this and change the regulation and how you enforce it and get out there and make sure that the margin of safety is not pressurized by this situation.